Hi and welcome to this video about managing deployments with global control. I'm Valentin Zickner and in this video we look at how we can uh, see our different deployments which are created for example when we press the pu publish button inside global design. Therefore we are going to look at global control and we can sign in to Flowable Control with the default credentials, username admin and password test. Once you signed in, you actually see, first of all, a dashboard, uh, which is showing you details about your Flowable installation. But then when you go to apps, you can actually get information about all the different apps deployed to your Flowable installation itself. You can go ahead and upload a new app here in the top right corner, upload a zip file over here, and it will automatically add that app to your Flowable installation. Now in that list, you have a list of all the deployments which have happened to your Flowable environment uh, since basically the beginning. Now by default, those deployments are never deleted. And also in a production instance, when you still have instances, with those, you would or you really need to consider if you would like to delete those. And there, it doesn't matter if those instances are already ended or if they are still running. Obviously, when you clean those up with housekeeping, then you can also go ahead and eventually remove the app. Now for us, uh, I'm here on a test system. So I'm interested basically, for example, in one of those apps, uh, what, what that deployment is and uh, inspect it. Therefore, you can basically click on it and then you see below that an app definition. And the app definition is just an entry point to a lot of other different models. So we see here we have a process and a case definition related to that app. Now, whenever you basically go back uh, to the deployment itself, there you can now go ahead and decide what you would like to do with it. We see here, first of all, when it was created, in which tenant it is in case we have multi-tenancy and what the name is. And then we can go ahead and just delete the deployment, for example, in case uh, we are done with testing that specific application, we can clean everything up. When we press the delete deployment button here, it is going to ask us to confirm it. And once done, this specific app is removed. So we see we no longer have the app which was created at 11.00. Uh, now, I can also go ahead and just decide that I would like to completely remove all the apps from, a diff diff uh, from one specific uh, key. And that I can do with the delete all app artifacts and versions button, which is then going ahead and removing all the deployments which I have for that specific uh, app identifier. Now, when I press that button, then you really need to be careful since that is removing everything what is related to it. So when I press here now, delete deployments, it will not only remove that travel request zip, which I have over here, it will remove, and let's just go back to the list for a second, all of them which are called travel request.zip. So let's just press that button for now. And then we are going to see that all the past deployments are gone now. We only see that we have a few other apps, those with another key, which are still there for our system. Now, whenever you have basically removed everything, uh, you still want to basically uh, update the flowable indices. Therefore you go on index work and say we index work instances same actually for processes in case there were processes involved, cases and so on. Asks, there are obviously no users uh, which are part of an app since they are outside of the app context, but still for activities and plan items instances, we would like to do that. And when we now go back to our global work app, we see basically that we have nothing left in here and we have related to our travel request, an empty installation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.